Hello, welcome to CG Turf. My name is Tatenda, and thank you for opening this video. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a propeller or a fan and animate it at the same time. So, without wasting any of your time, let me just get to it. So, the first thing I'm just going to create a cylinder right here you can see it on your poly modeling menu i'm gonna create a cylinder press f to zoom in and then i'm gonna select uh, to see my channel box and then under inputs i'm gonna click poly cylinder one um, and i'm gonna reduce the subdivisions you can you can actually just type it in or you can click and hold your middle mouse button and drag but sometimes if you know the actual number of subdivisions you need you can just type it in in this case I just want six okay so now the next thing um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select I'm gonna right click and hold and select face and then I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna select um, every other face which is three like this and then I'm gonna hit extrude uh, this button right here and now I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit actually that's it that's quite a lot <laughs> all right um, maybe something like that something like this okay and i'm gonna hit g to rep uh, to repeat the extrude and then i'm just gonna stretch it out like that i think that's that's a good size this is gonna be the simplest modeling tutorial ever any any beginner can do this i mean obviously there are so many types of propellers and fans but you know you can pretty much use this technique to create any type you want so right now i'm just gonna scale it up like that until it's something like that and then i'm just gonna click away just gonna, now i'm just gonna right click and select object mode and then i'm gonna right click and hold select vertex and i'm gonna, I'm gonna select um each corner of the propeller the vertex on each corner like that and then i'm gonna hit w for the move to and then i'm just gonna move up like that just like that and i'm just gonna hit three for my preview and you know i like the way that looks so the three is just a preview um so usually before you render you can actually just work in this mode and sometimes you can actually render it but obviously it's not gonna give you the best quality but for now i'm just i'm actually just gonna use it like this or maybe let me subdivide it once so when i go to my menu and i hit modeling and then i go to mesh i just hit smooth so now it's gonna subdivide so when i press one again it's now this is now the base uh, topology so but then when i press three it's gonna be i think it's gonna be nicer and i think this is what i want now when i'm done with this um i think the next thing i'm just gonna create a pipe you go to create uh polygon primitives this is pretty much what like what you can start with for me i'm just gonna create a pipe yeah I'm just gonna create a pipe and I'm just gonna drop it down like that I'm just gonna scale it up hmm. let me see okay that's a small hole so like when you select the pipe you can see here where it says in inputs uh, poly pipe one I want to increase the radius actually now 
that's the wrong option is it the thickness yeah that's the thickness yeah so, so i want something like that and i'm just gonna hit w and put this down and just scale it so that it fits actually let me make it a little bit longer something like that and what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate. And then I'm gonna make one that's bigger. Something like that. And obviously, I'm assuming, I mean, right now I'm creating this for my head, but I think it's always good to have like reference images, you know, so, so that you can create something that that actually looks like what you want to create. Um, hmm, actually, let me do this instead. <sighs> okay, let me undo. <laughs> Sometimes undoing is just better. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this one instead because the first cylinder that I create is the one that I can actually change in terms of the thickness um let me see i'm gonna scale it up and the thickness i want to reduce the thickness you see i'm dragging it but it's it's jumping too much so i'm gonna have to type it in maybe point zero five yeah i think no zero point zero five okay I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is perfect. So let me just do that. Okay. Yeah, that's something that looks like something I wanted to create. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna select all of this and then I'm gonna hit Control G to group everything together. Go to Modify, Center Pivot, just to make sure that it's on the center. And I'm just gonna hit E for rotation. And I'm just gonna rotate it just like that and you can actually check it's actually rotating in the x-axis and obviously I want it to rotate it like 90 degrees so I can just tap it in so that it's so that it's perfect um, now when I click one one geometry I can press up on the arrow keys to select the whole group and I'm just gonna put it right here so this is, I mean, this is pretty much done, I guess. Um, yeah, this is like this is pretty much done. Maybe this part, I don't know. Yeah, this is just me. I'm just, I'm now just experimenting. I don't know. Oh yeah, it shouldn't be too fast. So I hit left click, right click, hold and select vertex and then I click and drag to select the vertexes the um, vertices, sorry one vertex is vertex and when they are more than one they're called vertices so I'm just gonna scale them down like that <laughs> I think it's supposed to be in front but you know what, it's fine um, let me see let me just see how this looks <laughs> I think that's supposed to be in front right but uh, okay maybe let me just forget that let me just <laughs> delete that I'm going too much into detail now <laughs> this is good enough <clears throat> so I think right now the next thing um, which is the next part of this tutorial is to actually animate this and it's, I mean, it's very simple. So we're just gonna go to our timeline. Um, so all my, t like this is my timeline. So the animation usually, I would want it to last for like, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds. So maybe on this timeline, I can type in 500. So 500 frames, um, because each second is gonna be 25 frames. So, you know, 25 into 500 is going to be 20. I think my math is right. Yeah, it's going to be like 20 seconds. Yeah. So I select the propeller. Oh, yeah. 
one other thing before I start animating I just want to reset these um, attributes first so I select everything I go I go to modify freeze transform so that everything just starts from zero <clears throat> it's always best to do that when you before you start animating so now that I'm selecting the actual propeller this actually looks like a drone propeller yeah so I go to frame number one and then I hit E so I guess I want to I'm not sure which direction but at this point it doesn't matter because as long as it it rotates it's fine so I want to rotate it you know clockwise right um, and according to and that's actually the y-axis according to this so and it's actually in the minus I'm rotating in the minus which is fine or maybe let me rotate in the plus I guess it's actually important for later because <laughs> I wanna I'm gonna do a second part of this tutorial later so I think it's better if I do it in the plus <clears throat> so you select the propeller you go to the first frame and right here let's start at zero and we're just gonna right click rotate y and we're just gonna select key selected it's gonna set a keyframe and then we're gonna go to maybe frame number 100 and maybe it has to rotate 5000 degrees and now as you can see it's just gonna start rotating but it's rotating and stopping which is what we do not want um, but it's starting too quickly so maybe let's do 2500 degrees let me see yeah that's it I think that's a better start but now when it goes to here it's stopping I don't want it to just stop I just want it to keep on going so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to window animation editors graph editor this thing and I think you remember from other tutorial this graph editor you will definitely use this if you're animating most of the time like if not all all of the time so this tangent as you can see what's happening is it's starting slow and then at the middle it's getting fast and then at the end it's slowing down but then I want it to keep on going which means this part needs to sort of be like that so that it's a continuous cave it keeps on going so if I play it okay so now it stops but then at the end it was still going which is what I want so from frame 100 to 500 to 500 I don't know um maybe 2500 I guess for every 100 frames it can rotate 2500 so hmm, I'm doing the math and the, those are like that's like four seconds and it's increasing by 2500 degrees each time so 2500 multiplied by four that's gonna be ten thousand so that means the 500th frame let's try 12,500 and see how it looks and yeah so right now this is not the curve that I want um, but anyway let me just play it for you so that you see how it looks start, start slow and then increase the speed but then it, it then gradually slows down and that's not what we want we just want it to keep on going so obviously this one we need to adjust this one you know like that and right now I'm actually according to the graph I can see that the 12,000 is not enough for it to like maintain a fast speed so right now I'm just gonna be guessing maybe let me put Mm, maybe 18,000 yeah I think that's that looks about right I think 
maybe you can do that uh -huh. yeah so it starts off slow and then it just maintains that speed until the end so let me just play it and see how it looks all right it's not bad but obviously it's it's kind of hard to see the speed you know because of the frames what do you look like, like you can actually see the speed once you render it and once you put motion play the cool thing with my 2018 is you can actually add some ambient occlusion like some on some occlusion shadows and some motion play like for instance if i click this button right here i don't know if you can see like this one if i click it you see it's gonna it's gonna give me those um, shadows and then i'm gonna put also the next icon this is motion blur so when i press it it's gonna give me some you see that motion blur and i think it's gonna help to make us sort of really see that it's going fast so let me just play it yeah like this is much better it actually, like like it actually does look like it's going fast okay that's actually good all right um and i think i think we're good for for now um so yeah so for this tutorial like uh, this is it on the next tutorial though I actually want to do something a little bit more interesting using N cloth. Um, I kind of want to. I'm not sure what I'm like what I'm gonna put, but I'm I'm gonna just try and put maybe some I don't know some cloths, like maybe two or three, and then I want them to react to the fan. You know what I mean? To really sell the idea that there's actually like wind over there. So yeah. This is it. I hope um, this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you on the next tutorial that's following this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.